What's happening guys, Ishan back here with another video. Um, so today I thought I'd break down KSI and Randolph's new track, Red Alert, which was produced by myself. Um, but yeah, if you want to go check out that video, um, it'll be just, I'll link it here somewhere. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. So with this track, I first started off with the bell melody you can hear. Um, so the original melody sounded a bit like this. You know, I got it up on Omnisphere and yeah. Sounds a bit like a music box, give a bit more mysterious dark, you know, spacey feel. And then what I did was um, I exported it out as a sample, loaded it back into FL, pitched down the sample as you can see here, um, loaded it into the mixer, which is on channel five. And then I literally just added RC20, you know, tweaked the settings a little bit and then added a bit more distortion on top of it to bring out the sound a bit more. And, you know, made it sound like this you know that's the intro pretty much so what i'm going to do is you know with how i break down this video is i'm going to go like literally from the intro go to the end of the track and then tell you you know step by step what i've done uh but yeah so as you can hear before the other melodies come in, there's a reverse kind of sounding. So what that was is a brass hit that I have in the other sections as well, which sounds a bit more like this. But then I added uh, quite a long reverb. Just gives it that spacey feeling, you know, drags out the sound a little bit. And I exported it out, you know, reversed it. And I did it again, you know, added another layer, you know, the same brass hit, but I pitched that one up, I think 800 cents it was. Yeah, 800 cents. And then literally had that come in a bit later to lead more, to lead into the next brass hit um, in the verse. And then it sounds a bit more like this. So as you can hear the sample So with this one here, I added the sample in again and changed the sound of it. So I did RC20 again, had the same distortion sound. But, you know, on that one, I filtered out a lot of the lower frequencies and a bit more of the higher frequencies. So I had it more in that mid range um, to give, you know, all the instruments a bit more space that come in, um, which is the flute that comes in here. I quite like this sound because it kind of gives me a little bit of a nostalgic, you know, ethnic feel. It's quite spacey as well, blends in nicely with the, you know, with the bells. So I exported that out, you know, loaded it back into FL, added some effects on top of it as well. So what I did was, you know, filtered some of the lower frequencies and some of the more higher ones, kept it in that high mid range. Add a bit more RC20 on top of that, you know, another effect, you know, I just love using RC20, it gives it a nice raw sound. And then, you know, if you combine it together, you know, that's how it sounds. And then also what happens is I bring in the drums, which are very simple, to be honest. Um, show you the pattern right now. So this is what I did with the drums. So that's pretty much like the main pattern of the drums that I had and then play it from there. So it eases you into the track a little bit, but what I also did was um, to, you know, increase the energy levels a little bit, I added another hi-hat loop into there, which, is, which goes a bit like this, it's a bit quicker. Gives it a bit more bounce. Yeah, a little bit of triple step in the back. And then you play it all together. I had the brassets coming back in again at the end. Mm. And 
that then goes into the drop when the verse comes in. So that comes in into verse. So that comes in in the verse. So also then to, you know to to have the drop a bit more you know have that punch as well bringing the kick and the 808. That's like the bay and 808 pattern. Added a little slide at the end as well. It's very simple. It's just to add layers. Um, that's the it's vocal. Yeah, so then combine that with the other 808 as well. You can see how everything just literally complements each other, you know, comes and it just all go, comes together. And that's all the sounds together. So, you know, it keeps the energy levels going, it keeps them rising, you know, once you go from the first part into the second part. It doesn't keep it too monotone. So boom, so that was pretty much the verse done. Um, then I had the pre-chorus. So I felt like, you know, before the chorus comes in, I need to drop out some instruments, you know, separate it, have a little bit of contrast from the verse to prepare the listener, you know, that the chorus is coming in. So what I did was I added another bass line in from Omnisphere. You know, I just love Omnisphere sounds. Bring that in. It just gives it that bit more of a rising feel. But yeah, so I did that and I had another like, you know, pad hit kind of sound, which sounds like this. It's a quite long sound, so there's a lot of release on it. So it just carries on playing. Quite liked it, you know, blends it nicely into the background again. Combine that with another vocal you know, vocal sound, vocal chop I put in there, which originally sounds like this. But what I did was I did uh, EQ, filtered out. Again, some of the low ends, you know, kept it more into that high mid range, added a bit more effects on top of it. I really liked the Effector plugin from FL, um, used the ring, Price, uh, you know, just added it here, it gives it that metallic sound. You know, in the chorus, I wanted something where it comes in hard, you know, where the energy levels are, you know, at its peak in the track. Um, have the drums come back in, have the 808 pattern come back in. But at the same time, before I just had the 808 going on, but with this, I combined it with the other bass line from uh, Omnisphere to have the blow and really knocking in the track. And then the drums come back in. And then that's where the original flute melody comes in, which is, to be honest, my favorite part of the track, to be honest. You can see that in this track, I have a lot of sounds just in the background blending in to complement each other. Nothing has to greatly stick out rather than the main melody in the verse or in, you know, the chorus melody, which is the flute. So there you go, you got the chorus. Another brass hit, boom. So yeah, the end, like, you know, to the next chorus is pretty much structured the same. Goes back into the chorus. But what I did was um, with this chorus, I kept it going again. But I took some of the instruments out, like for example, I took the claps, the hi-hats out. So, you know, kind of emphasize, you know, the end is coming off the track, you know, prepare the listener for the end. This is where the 808s all drop out. I still have the bass line going with the vocal, vocal chop. Blah. Yeah, keep going with the vocal chop. 
But yeah, this is where then I take out the bass and the kick and the flute melody. So if that was my breakdown for Red Alert. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out the music video itself. Yeah, if you haven't, I'll link you guys to it somewhere around here. I'll put it in the description below as well. So yeah, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below if you've got any more ideas you want me to do in the future. Make sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on um, to know when I'm uploading. But yeah, peace out.